Infinity Blade 2 is pretty much the perfect sequel. I had fun with the original Infinity Blade, but I wasn't as gaga about it as some gamers because of its slim amount of content and its constant repetition. With the sequel, Chair managed to fix every single issue I had with the original, and make a game that's nearly four times bigger to boot. Infinity Blade 2 is a perfect representation of what iOS games are capable of. Chair has created a nearly flawless combination of eye-popping visuals and touch-controlled gameplay. Worker, I will free you. Infinity Blade 2's story is now voice acted and filled with lots of twists and turns. This time around, players are on the hunt for the Worker of Secrets, the man who forged the Infinity Blade itself, but both the Worker and our hero are not what they appear. Flashy graphical details like real-time shadows and particle effects help make Infinity Blade 2 the best-looking game on the App Store, but the truth is that the game's entire presentation is a step above other studios. The game's menus have been redesigned to be cleaner and are much easier to navigate. Gone are the days are sifting through dozens of weapons just to find that one sword you're looking for. Now, each type of equipment is sorted separately, making it easy to swap in fresh gems and gear. Everything else in Infinity Blade 2 is just as polished. Gamers explore a much wider variety of locations this time around, from Asian estates to dank caves, and each shows a great attention to detail. Infinity Blade 1's cinematic melee combat system makes a return for the sequel, but with much more depth. Players now have three unique weapon styles to choose from. The original sword and shield setup and two new weapon types. Equipping a heavy weapon allows for powerful critical hits by swiping the touchscreen in specific directions and replaces the dodge buttons with a new directional blocking system. But I opted to spend most of my time dual wielding. When holding two swords, players lose all ability to block but can dish out incredible damage in a flurry of stabs and combos. Enemies have also been given more depth. Their attack patterns are more dynamic and harder to predict, and several brand new types of enemies have been introduced. All of this comes together to create a game with much more depth and much less repetition than the original. The icing on this violent, delicious cake is the sheer amount of content Chair has managed to cram in. Instead of a linear gauntlet of battles, players can now explore several branching paths, each concluding in a climactic boss battle. Defeating the final boss will take gamers five or six hours compared to the one hour it took to see everything the original had to offer. With Infinity Blade 2, Chair has finally created the App Store's true killer app for core gamers. Best of all, Chair has promised aggressive support for post-launch content. More battles, more weapons, and more locations. I can't wait to see what else the studio has in store. For more on Infinity Blade 2, keep it locked to IGN.com.